afternoon in the summertime, cleaning uh, our favourite beach, right here next to Cafe Del Mar and Cafe Mambo, which is uh, constantly full of this kind of garbage. Bottle tops, cigarette butts, straws, usually a load of laughing gas cylinders as well. Um, this is very typical of the beach in this part of the island because people here have a party continuously. So they just smash all the bottles as soon as they finish having the party. Well, this is all over the island now. So every time these people go anywhere, they just smash the bottles on the floor and leave it for somebody else to pick it up. Well, obviously we're going to have to have an island-wide campaign, not just us from Avaita Olympia, but everybody else as well participating in the cleanup. So what we're trying to do here is to, uh, especially in a high-profile place like we are at the moment, uh, we're going to be seen by all the tourists that are passing by. And as the sun begins to go down, there'll be more and more tourists arriving. So we're going to be engaging with the tourists and telling them the story of why they shouldn't litter the beach. That's our main purpose of being here today. Actually, this is going to be exactly the same tomorrow. We can clean this continuously all through the summer, every, every minute, and it'll still be the same again the next day. So we're actually achieving nothing until we stop the source of the problem, which is people littering the beach. So um, this is a poster we made uh, just a couple of years ago to try and encourage people to help us to clean the beaches here in Ibiza, how to, how to maintain the island clean. I personally have cleaned 600 beaches on Ibiza in the last 29 years. I started beach cleaning here in 1988, we're now in 2017, and I've been cleaning beaches every year since then. Um, what we'd like to do now is to encourage the schools to adopt a beach or between a few schools together adopt a beach, the favourite beach where they go to so we can share the work out amongst the whole population and children of course are the future occupants of the planet so it's more in their interest to keep it clean and to teach other people to maintain it in good condition. Obviously the best way to keep the island clean is to not dirty it and so we've got several campaigns going on to uh, to raise the consciousness of the people not to throw their garbage onto the floor and to use recycling containers where they exist or to take their garbage home and recycle it properly. That's our main message and that's what we've been doing with the Beef Olympia now for several years and uh, we're, we're beginning to get there. The, the government's getting more interested, the people on the island are getting more interested in joining in and so we can, uh, we can look forward to a much more clean and more beautiful island into the future. We've also produced um, a thousand of these beautiful polyester bags. These are not use and throw. These are use and use and use and use. And um, it comes with a little pouch actually, so you can carry it around in your pocket. So you can always be a true guardian of the planet, taking your beach cleaning bag with you wherever you go. And uh, this can be washed in the washing machine. You can wash it by hand. It's almost indestructible. And inside here, actually, we put some information. We put our Phoenix sticker, a postcard how to get to Casita Verde. And also, we put these inside. These are instructions from the local council in Ibiza how to recycle correctly. This one's in English. We also have another one in Spanish and Catalan. Spanish on this side, Catalan on the other side so that everybody can understand how, how the recycling system works. As you can see here, when, we've, when we start to empty our buckets, we will empty into three different containers. This one's for paper, this one's for plastic and tin cans, this one's for bottles, and then we'll have another bucket just for general garbage, like what I picked up off the beach here. This isn't really recyclable. This is full of cigarette butts, bottle tops, straws and things like that. So it's not really something that goes in any of these three containers, but that's the majority of the garbage we find on this particular beach. Because people just have a party here and they throw their stuff all over the place.
back at the ranch. Uh, just going to put a few more little trinkets together with what we've collected already before. Um, this is uh, some materials we've been picking up off the beach for uh, a group that's uh, working with us called Nature Program. Sorry, Nature Project. Um, they're working together with this group here, Oceanic Global, and the local representative. Uh, Karen Iskin who's actually the one who's working with us it's actually her idea to make the Adopt a Beach campaign so we're all working together with various different groups Oceanic Global, Nature Project and Ibiza Olympia all working on the same Clean Up the Island project <laughs> Thank you.